Well, the end of another week. I think this time last week I was uh, pondering the start of a new month and all the potential things that it might bring. Um, I was probably waiting for a few things to happen this week that, uh, that, that haven't happened, um, just for one reason or another, and they'll sort of come through over the course of the next couple of weeks. But it also has made me really, really focus my attention on um, what I do have in my control, re-running my own events. Um, you know, when I think about my speaking goals and what I want to do and why I wanted to do it, one of the big reasons for wanting to to uh, to do it, to work with live audiences, to uh, be doing more of the workshops and uh, and other live events, um, it's because I love doing it. And I talked about that before in these videos. Um, and the fact of the matter is, I am in control of how much of it I, I get to do. Um, I think I've really put a big focus on doing the corporate work and that is certainly something I want to continue pursuing and I will continue pursuing but there's an element of it that I'm waiting for <laughs> other people to make decisions and um, in the process I'm in the process of refining my messaging and my processes to get in front of the right people whereas running my own events is something that I've got a lot of experience of doing. I've run many events of my own events over the years and I, I get a real sort of kick out of doing it as well. So as in like putting it all together and marketing it and writing the sales copy and um, actually bringing people in individually to do it. So I've found today that I've really I was kind of chatting to my wife earlier about it and um, about how, and as I was kind of talking it through, it was like it was just making more and more sense that this is definitely uh, a thing for me to focus more of my attention on. I've, I've been a bit hamstrung this week and last week since I've been sort of thinking a bit more clearly about it because um, I'm right now I'm in the middle of, or the end of launching my Boost 28 day program, it starts on Monday. But after that, I can really turn my attention to creating this event, getting a date down, finding a location, keeping it really low key. The plan is to start off with some small events and uh, and just do lots of them. So start off with a um, kind of a more of an intimate workshop style event, a couple of hours, three hours maybe, um, at a weekend. It's the way I used to do them. So a half day events for a small number of people take the the emphasis away from having a kind of an idea in my mind as to right I need to make this much money from doing it uh, and actually just use it as an opportunity to really refine my content and the way I deliver it um, I'd love to have a workshop that I can deliver and I can repeat and tweak improve uh, evolve but essentially here's a workshop and then I just take it to different places around the UK, around Ireland. I really want to get back over to doing some stuff over in Ireland as well. Um, and, and then sort of add more products, different, different workshops and so on to that, to the mix there. So lots of ideas around it. Um, I think also I got a little burned when I did that or try to launch that session in May and uh, I just didn't get any traction with it and I've been sort of trying to analyze now what is it that's been stopping me from taking more action on this uh, it's been almost a year a year since my last event but not not including momentum um, and I'm pretty sure that if I'm kind of being honest I was to reach right down into my honesty self-honesty muscle and then what would come back would be that I have told myself bullshit stories that uh, nobody wants, nobody wants it, nobody's interested, um, nobody sees the value in my messages and what I can teach and what I can share and what I can do. And that stopped me from doing it because it kind of hurts when you put an event on and you say, right, I'm going to do this and then kind of nobody books. And I've, this happened to me in the past and uh, it's happened to me with programs, online programs, and kind of, I know that, that that's a, a potential outcome. 
Um, and I know that the logical s next step is to look at it and think, well, what's the, was it the message? Was it the content? Was it the location? Was it the price points? Um, and I did all that, but at the same time, there's like, you know what, I don't want to, I don't want to risk that happening again. So it's safer to not do it. Uh, and that's, I think, where I've got to recently. So plan is to scrub all that, change those stories, and uh, come up with a new program, product, service, workshop, and put it out there again. So that's all going to be happening next week once I've finished this launch of Boost. So there we go. That's what I've been thinking about today and focusing my attention on and kind of aware that it's not a big, I've done this, taking this big step forwards um, <laughs> with the speaking goals. But at the same time, it feels like a real bit of clarity that this is another part of my process. This is another part of my journey. Um, it's not just for me about creating uh, uh, a consistent flow of corporate workshops and keynotes. It's also about running my own events, which is what puts me in control. So there we go. There's my check-in and update for the day. We'll be back again tomorrow with another daily update. But for now, give it a YouTube thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again tomorrow for another daily update. Bye for now.